Assuming this is somewhat of a rebuild, it's, it's got to be considered somewhat of a rebuild. How confident should oh, yeah. Indians fans be just with what they have in Antonetti and that player development? I mean, from my perspective, they've been pretty good. Um, I know they're, they're working with limited resources that really kind of handcuff them, but they're pretty good at identifying talent. Is that something that the Cleveland fans should take away? You've got a, a very good base in development uh, people that will be developing this, this franchise. Yeah, Francisco Lindor and Carlos Carrasco are headed to the Mets, but you know Mike Chernoff and Chris Antonetti are not. Uh, <laughs> they they were you know wooed. <laughs> they, the Mets, among other teams, have wanted them over the years, um, and, and that's that's you know I, I know people have issues with the Dolan ownership and and the you know where they spend uh, on, on the player payroll, but the stability they've established in that front office is second to none, um, and you've had many of their underlings go on to do great things in, in the baseball industry at other places. They are very well regarded in the industry uh, for, for the culture they, they've created and, and for their ability to build a ball club. And they've shown it time and time again, the ability to, sometimes we look at these trades and we go, I don't know about that one. And then it turns out pretty well in the end. I, I had some serious doubts about the Mike Clevenger deal last summer and you know, still a lot of questions about that moving forward, but Mike Clevenger's not even pitching in 2021, so that deal already looks a lot better than it did six months ago. Um, and they, they prove it time and again. So you, they, they've earned the benefit of the doubt. They're being handed a very difficult situation here where, you know, the payroll has been drastically cut in recent years, but, you know, it, it's not an excuse in baseball anymore. I mean, the, the big spending is not always uh, your ticket to October. It's, it's smart spending and it's smart acquisitions and, and these guys have done a great job of that over the years so again we'll see how this the rest of this offseason plays out and uh and, and just how that developmental pipeline plays out 